my name is Manuel Garcia and I'm going to present uh, MCX, a multi-complex finite element library for high order derivatives. This work has been developed by EAFIT University and UTSA University of Texas at San Antonio. A multi-complex and multi-dual, also known as hyperdual numbers, are very robust methods to compute high order derivatives. They are accurate and avoid subtractive error induced by other methods like finite difference. This seminar presents a library to handle complex, multi-complex, dual and multi-dual numbers. The aim of the library is to be easy to implement, efficient, support different languages and base for finite element code development. Hypercomplex numbers are a family of various systems of numbers constructed by adding imaginary units to the real numbers. You can find complex, dual, double, quaternions, and octonions as part of this family of hypercomplex numbers, and they have diverse applications. Complex, dual, and double numbers are composed of two terms, a real and imaginary part, and the imaginary unit differ in the three cases. In one case, i squared is equal to minus 1, as the traditional complex number. In the second case, epsilon square is equal to zero and in the third case chi square is equal to one. The first two cases complex and dual are used to compute derivatives. So the complex step method to compute derivative consists of doing a Taylor Sirix expansion about our, our original point x0 and in the direction of the imaginary direction. So by doing the Taylor Sirix expansion you obtain your result composed by two terms, one real and one imaginary. So if you take the real part of the function evaluated at the perturbed point, you get the value of the function at x0. But if you take the imaginary part, you get the derivative. So that's the complex step method. As an example, consider a beam which is anchored at one extreme and a load applied in the other extreme. The deflection of the beam can be found by just setting one finite element and is found to be PL cube over 3 EL. So this is the system that is used to find the value. To apply the complex step method, you just simply replace the value of L by L by IH, a perturbation in the imaginary part. The result is going to be complex and in the real part you have the solution plus some error, second order error, and in the imaginary part you have the derivative plus a second order error. In this example we compute the shape derivative by perturbing the nodes in the radial direc direction. So the value of the de stress, the derivative of the stress with respect to R can be found just by evaluating the finite element in complex system. And when we compare the analytical solution by the complex derivative, we found that they match very well. The dual step method is very similar to the complex step method. The only difference is that epsilon squared is equal to zero, so high order terms in the Taylor Sirix expansion are going to be zero. So the derivative can be found by evaluating the imaginary part of dual number divided by h and the result is exact. In the same example of the beam that we had before, when we replace our value of L with the imaginary perturbation and in this case is going to be the dual perturbation, the result it renders at the deflection is going to be in the real part PL cube over 3EL which is the exact solution and the imaginary part is the exact solution of the derivative of the deflection with respect to L. Multi-complex number are an extension to the same concept to multiple directions, imaginary directions. So instead of having just one imaginary number, we, have, we can have one, two, three, or n. As an example, this is a bicomplex number in which we have two directions, i1, and i2 and a combined direction i1 i2 as i1 i2 cannot be cancelled out. So a um, multi-complex number can be represented in a polynomial like form or 
in a real vector form or in a matrix form. The advantage of the matrix form, which is called Cauchy-Riemann matrix form, is that there is an isomorphism in between matrix operations and multicomplex operations. So we can operate multicomplex by operating matrices. The Cauchy-Riemann matrix form can be found by any order of multicomplex number. Now, the advantage of having multicomplex number is that we can now find the value of the derivatives of any order. Like, if we want to compute the nth of the derivative, we'll, we will need n order multicomplex with n direction, and we perturb the multicomplex in the i1 plus i n direction by an amount of h, and we get the imaginary part i1, i2, in divided by ihn and obtain a very good approximation of the derivative, a second order approximation of the derivative. So in our bicomplex example, uh, when we do the Taylor series expansion, we can have real part, imaginary part i1, imaginary part i2, and the combined imaginary part. Notice that the first derivative are storage in the i1, i2 direction and the second derivative is in the combined i1, i2 direction. Now, multi-dual numbers are exactly the same concept. So we have multiple dual directions. Multi-dual numbers are also known as hyperdual numbers and they consist of having multiple dual directions. And in the same way as multicomplex, they can have a polynomial-like form, a real vector form, or a matrix form. In this case, the matrix is a lower triangular. So to compute the high-order derivatives, we proceed in the same way as before, with the advantage that the high-order terms will be cancelled as epsilon i to the square is equal to zero. In the case of bidual numbers, we can compute a second-order derivative by evaluating the function at the point x0 plus h epsilon 1 plus h epsilon 2. So the Taylor series expansion described here shows us that the value of the function is going to be in the real part and the first derivatives are going to be in the i1, epsilon 1 and epsilon 2 directions and the second order derivatives are going to be in the mixed direction. So by extracting the real or imaginary parts we can have the value of the function or the derivative and the result is going to be exact in the sense that it is not truncated error. In general if we just choose a perturbation in the dual directions we can have the n order derivatives of the function and the result is free of truncation error. The library at the moment has two versions, a Python library and a Python version and a um, Fortran version. The syntax is very similar to the NumPy and SymPy uh, libraries and uh, for a complex number it can be defined in a different way of forms like vector form or polynomial form. You can also define arrays in the same fashion as you do in NumPy. You can define the order, you can mix orders and it will preserve the higher order of the multicomplex and then um, you can not do all kind of operations like sum, subtraction, multiplication, trigonometric functions. They are all overloaded in the system so you just use it and uh, there is a set of linear algebra functions that are ready to use in the library. This is an example with the Fortran library, which is completely parallel to the um, Python version. This is a very simple example. This is a um, function which consists of an exponential, square roots, uh, powers, and trigonometric functions, and we want to compute the value of the function and the derivative. So we just simply choose a point where to evaluate the function and we select an h in the case of multicomplex. h in this case we are going to choose it 
10 to the minus 3 and um, by evaluating the imaginary part we get the results of the derivative so this is the version of the code so we import the libraries we choose our initial point and h value we choose the perturbation in the imaginary 1 and imaginary 2 directions we evaluate the function and then we just simply get the imaginary parts the ima this is the imaginary 1 and the imaginary 1 2 which contains the second order derivative and we just print the results and the results are exact with 16 digits and in this case we can observe here in this plot a comparison of forward difference central difference complex step by complex step and dual numbers so in the case of finite difference we can see that the results start to converge as we start to decrease the size of the step it decreases but it gets to a point in which the subtraction error is and start to increase so the error increases again so that's the main problem with the finite difference multi-complex on the other hand the error starts to decrease as h starts to decrease until it gets to the computer resolution and it stays at that point in this case we were the, our resolution was 10 to the minus 16 on the other hand the dual numbers the solution is independent of h so it doesn't matter what value of h you choose the solution is always in the range of the computer uh, resolution in this case we were using um, double numbers which um, result in 10 to the minus 16 um, value it's the same case for the second derivative so find a difference fail really fast you have to be careful how to choose your h your step in the differentiation multi-complex you just have to choose a small value so from here in that direction is safe to choose any value and dual is independent of the step size so the whole time dual is um, in the computer resolution this is a final example in fracture mechanics in which um, um, we compute the strain energy using finite elements and from the strain energy we compute um, n order derivatives of the strain energy to reproduce the strain energy release rate so in this case this is a second order equation but um, we have done up to five uh, degree and uh, the results are very good this is uh, the evolution of the crack that is obtained with a four degree uh, polynomial so this is an example where you can use multiple derivatives order derivatives to compute a solution so with the, the power of the library to compute higher order derivatives now what we need is applications where we can use these higher order derivatives um, we haven't found many um, probably the reason is because it was always very hard to find to get higher order derivatives that uh, we never developed a method in which it was involved to compute higher order derivatives because it was impractical to compute them but with this method um, you can easily compute higher order derivatives and the library it um, allows you to be like transparent and uh, and do it without um, any hassle so in conclusion the library allows easy create code based on multi-complex and multi-dual numbers and vectors and matrices of multi-complex and dual numbers the python version of the code can be used for coding or for interactive use if you are just experimented the python version is great um, the development of the library is strongly based on binary mapping and vector like representation so it is very efficient uh, in terms of memory and in terms of um, um, computational speed it supports any kind of um, um, representation as Cauchy Riemann and polynomial like for input and output and it supports uh, operations between real numbers and multi-complex of any order it's intuitive with um, um, a syntax which is MATLAB-like and um, the operation overloading just um, avoid all the hassle of dealing with uh, um, the operations so if you wish to have more information 
you can email me at manueljakegr at gmail.com. Thanks very much.